A pint glass is a form of drinkware made to hold either a British pint of 20 imperial fluid ounces or an American pint of 16 US fluid ounces. These glasses are typically used to serve beer, and also often for cider. Current shapes The common shapes of pint glass are, conical glasses are shaped, as the name suggests, as an inverted truncated cone around 6 inches tall and tapering by about 1 inch in diameter over its height. Also called a shaker pint in the United States, as the glass can be used as one half of a Boston shaker. The most common size found in the U.S., such as those made by Anchor Hocking, holds 16 ounces to the rim. The Nonica variation on the conical design, where the glass bulges out a couple of inches from the top. This is partly for improved grip, partly to prevent the glasses from sticking together when stacked, and partly to give strength and stop the rim from becoming chipped or nicked. This design was invented by Hugo Pick, of Albert Pick & Company, who was awarded two U.S. patents, design patent 44,616 and patent 1,107,700 though the design patent was invalidated a euro, and which was commercialized as Nonic. The design was preceded by many other bulged glass designs, dating to the mid-19th century, which differed in having a severe bulge in different purposes rather than the shallow bulge of this design. The original motivation for the glass was to reduce breakage when stacking, reduce breakage when tipped over, improve grip, and facilitate cleaning. In the United Kingdom, this style was popularized after World War II, with Ravenhair glass introducing anonic glass in 1948. Jug glasses, or dimple mugs, are shaped more like a large mug with a handle. They are molded with a grid pattern of thickened glass on the outside, somewhat resembling the segmentation of a Mills bomb. The dimples prevent the glass slipping out of the fingers in a washing up bowl, and the design of the glass emphasizes strength, helping to withstand frequent manual washing. These design features became less important when manual washing was superseded by machine washing from the 1960s onwards. Dimpled glasses are now rarer than the other types and are regarded as more traditional. This sort of glass is also known as a handle, or jug due to the handle on the glass. Tulip is a more modern glass having a tallish shape, usually flaring out towards the top. These designs are more commonly associated with continental lagers or promotional campaigns by breweries, and are frequently etched or marked with a beer's label. History Pint glasses became popular in the United Kingdom in the early mid-20th century, replacing tankards. This change is notably lamented by George Orwell in his 1946 essay The Moon Under Water. Equals older styles equals, older styles include, decorative Toby Dugs, although these would not have been for everyday use. Mid-1700s onwards. Pewter tankards. 1500s to 1900s. Ceramic tankards with strap handles. Late 1800s to early 1900s. Ten sided glass tankards. 1920s and 1930s. United Kingdom law. In the United Kingdom, draft beer must be sold in imperial measure. United Kingdom law requires certain steps be taken to ensure that a pint of beer is indeed a pint. Though this can be achieved using metered dispense. The more common solution is to use certified one-pint glasses. Until recently these had a crown stamp and number etched upon them indicating that the certification had been done by an agency of the crown. Under the EU Measuring Instruments Directive, the certification of measuring instruments and devices used in trade can be done by third parties anywhere within the EU with governments taking only the legislative and enforcement functions, and ensuring that the system of third-party assessment has sufficient technical competence and independence. Glasses that have been certified by authorized firms anywhere within the EU have the letters CE etched on with the certifying agency's identification number. Conservatives campaigning to have dual markings of Crown and CE were informed by EU Commissioner Gar one quarter NTER Pugin that a Crown stamp look-alike could naturally be affixed to the glass, as long as it is done in such a way that it is not confused with a CE marking. Selling beer in unmeasured glasses without using some other form of calibrated measure is illegal. Half pint, one third pint, and two thirds pint glasses are also available, and are subject to the same laws. 
Despite this emphasis on accurately measured glasses, there is a practice of defining a pint of beer as only 95% liquid. It is common for drinkers to be served less than a full 20 ounce pint of liquid a euro, either because too much of the glass is taken up by a foamy head, or simply because the customer has been sold a short measure. This allows publicans to sell more beer than the stated capacity of the cask or keg and hence save money. This practice may have consciously increased since the removal of a duty allowance on knowledge. To counter this the British Beer and Pub Association have issued guidelines for bar staff to respect a customer who asks for a top-up to a full 20-ounce pint. For those wishing to avoid this practice while still serving beer with a large head, lined, or oversized glasses are available. These have a line near the top to which the beer should be poured, with the head forming above it. In the past a number of breweries supplied these glasses to their pubs. This is now rarely the case and line glasses are found mostly at enthusiasts' events such as beer festivals, serious cask ale pubs, and breweries' own bars. The use of lined 568 ml pint glasses in pubs is advocated by the Campaign for Real Ale. Other countries Beer in Australia is formally measured in metric units, but draft beer is commonly ordered and sold in glasses approximating imperial measures including a 570 ml pint glass, known as a schooner in the rest of Australia. As in the UK, certified glassware must be used. The capacity of the beer glass is defined by either the brim or, where present, the capacity line. In Canada, federal law mandates a standard imperial pint. However, this law is rarely enforced and establishments can sometimes get away with selling U.S. pints or other measures as pints. The Republic of Ireland uses a 570 ml glass, where legal metrology marks are used to show that a glass has passed inspection by the National Standards Authority of Ireland, a state-run body which enforces a number of standard rulings. Starting in 2006, the NSAI pint mark, a circle featuring two wavy lines, between which pint is written, with a year mark, and a three-digit batch code either side. Has begun to be phased out with a European standard pint slash CE logo stamp. Smaller pint glasses have been used in pubs and nightclubs though. In Israel, although officially defined as 568 milliliters, pubs use the term rather arbitrarily and the pint served constitute a wide range of volumes. In the past, the custom was to serve beer in 330 milliliters or 500 milliliters in the original beer manufacturer's glass. After the reform in the alcohol taxes in July 2012 the tax rate doubled. Each liter of beer is charged with 4.2 NIS tax. In order to avoid raising prices at the pubs, and as a result, the loss of customers, a new magic appeared, called pint. The customers don't really know the vague term of a pint and it varies from place to place. Some of the places didn't even change the menu, and it's served as 500 milliliters. In the United States, a pint is 16 U.S. fluid ounces. However, the typical conical pint glass holds 16 ounces to its rim. With a half inch of foam, the actual liquid fill is roughly 14 ounces. Recently, some restaurants have replaced 16-ounce pint glasses with 14 ounces to which customers have objected. In response to this, legislation has been introduced in the state of Michigan to require bars to serve 16-ounce pints. Nucleated pint glasses. It is increasingly common to find pint glasses which contain markings on the base. Very often these glasses are branded to one particular beer. The markings themselves are formed from small pits which aid in nucleation, allowing the gas within it to be released more easily, thus preserving the head. Without the aid of these pits a regular pint glass will keep a head for only three or four minutes before appearing flat. The markings come in a variety of styles ranging from a simple circular or square hatched pattern to more complicated branding messages. Collecting Pint glass collecting is an increasingly popular way for individuals to commemorate their visits to popular tourist destinations, most notably to microbreweries or sports arenas. These destinations often sell pint glasses adorned with their logos, which are either screen printed or engraved on the side of the glass. 
brewery enthusiasts may travel thousands of miles to see where their favorite beer is made or to sample new local and fresh beers, and collectors often display their collections in display cases or on shelves. Beer festivals frequently have commemorative pint glasses made specially for the event. Users' Weapon As with other glass objects such as glass bottles, Pint glasses can be used as a weapon either smashing an intact glass in a victim's face or smashing the glass and then slashing with the shards. Such attacks, called glassing, are a significant problem in the United Kingdom, with more than 87,000 glassing attacks per year, resulting in over 5,000 injuries. This has led to less dangerous alternatives being used either plastic glasses and bottles at large events or violence-prone venues, or treated glass primarily tempered glass, which has been used in Australia. References External links, CAMRA's full pint campaign page. Glass Beer Mugs Collection, private collection of about 5,000 different items.